Donald Trump is running a criminal enterprise out of the White House, a former U.S. governor has claimed. Former Vermont Governor Howard Dean accused Mr. Trump of corruption during a discussion about the president's frequent visits to his own properties. Mr. Trump has spent nearly a third of his days in office at a property owned by his company, according to a Wall Street Journal review. The promotion is extraordinary. Mr. Dean, who previously served as chair of the Democratic Party, told MSNBC. There hasn't been a president in my lifetime who's done anything like this. Mr. Dean also accused the president's staff of shaking down foreign governments to hold their events at the new Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. The Trump Organization has promised to donate any money that foreign governments spend at the hotel to charity, to avoid violating the emoluments clause of the Constitution. Still, Mr. Dean suggested that Robert Mueller, the special counsel appointed by the Justice Department to investigate possible Trump campaign collusion with Russia, would find something nefarious in the president's business dealings. I've said for a long time, I think Mr. Trump is running a criminal enterprise out of the White House, Mr. Dean said. And I think that's what Bob Mueller's on the track of. Mr. Trump has spent more than 100 days at a Trump Organization-owned property since taking office, according to the journal. This includes 40 days at his golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey, and 40 days at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Florida. While previous presidents have also spent time at their own properties while in office, Mr. Trump's properties are uniquely open to the public and to profit. George W. Bush went to his ranch in Crawford, Texas, a lot, but it's not like you could rent the bedroom next to his Jordan Leibowitz, a spokesman for Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, told the journal. Mr. Trump turned the Trump Organization's management over to his sons upon taking office. He retained ownership in the company, however, meaning he will eventually be able to profit from his holdings. Sarah Huckabee Sanders refuses to admit Donald Trump will make money from new tax bill Mr. Trump departed last Friday for a 10-day holiday vacation to Mar-a-Lago. While the president has not announced his New Year's Eve plans, he is widely expected to attend the resort's annual Yend Gala. The price of a ticket for the red carpet event has increased by up to $175 this year, according to Politico. The tickets are now $600 for dues-paying members and $750 for their guests, members of the private club said. Last year's tickets cost $525 for members and $575 for guests. One Mar-a-Lago member said the event is nearly sold out. I personally don't see any issues that are raised. Bobby Birchfield, the Trump Organization's outside ethics advisor, told Politico. It's not a campaign event. It's a normal business New Year's Eve party. More about Donald Trump Mar-a-Lago Howard Dean Reuse content.